Hartman. And her opponent, he's a recording engineer and producer whose interests include sports and travel, meet Bob Springer. Bob, welcome back to our show. Thank you. And of course, welcome to you too, Bartha. I'll get to you in a second, though. A recording engineer and a producer. You're one of right. those guys who makes hit records for people? Well, you know, you always try. It always doesn't come out that way, but you know. Have you uh, had uh, hits before? Like, you worked for the Eagles, I right. know you mentioned on the last show. Right, right. I was fortunate enough to uh, do the Long Run album, which was their last album. You weren't involved in the Hotel California album, though. Unfortunately, no, that was a yeah. real, real good album. Now, the Eagles broke up. Are they back together again? No, they're not. They're all doing their, their own, own solo yeah. careers, and I think it's probably going to stay that way. With Glenn Fry and Don Henley and yeah, all those Joe guys. Walsh, yeah, Joe Walsh, yeah. Great well, guys. Well, good luck to you. Okay, thanks. Let's see how the record producer, the uh, engineer does. Martha, welcome Hi. back to our show. Thank you. Martha's an interesting name. Tell me about it. What's the... I am named for a great aunt and a cousin by that name. I don't know where it came from, but I have since found out that it's a last name. I was someplace and I saw someone that had that as a last name. Uh -huh. There's also a, a store in this in this city, in one of the cities, <laughs> that happens to have my name. If they you don't let them shop, use your name? I was quite upset. I Did walked they inside. Ask? No! Plagiarism. I, I asked them and I said, I want to see Bartha. Crass plagiarism. And they both looked at each other. This Bartha, though, not the one downtown, has won $2,400. All of it's in cash. Congratulations. Thank you. Is this a... A little uh, good luck charm there? Well, being a singer, I yeah. happen to have a note given to me by my brother and sister-in-law, and this is a floating heart by my sister, and they're just kind of like, well, my you, love from you. Can you see those? I don't know whether you can see those or not. Maybe I can hold those there for just a second. A little good luck charm for you. Mm -hmm. Good luck as we continue Thank the game. Bob and Bartha. That has a nice ring to it. Sounds like the beginning of a law firm. Bob, Bartha, Rothstein, and whatever. <laughs> Bartha and Bob. Hey, last show, time ran out in the middle of the game. These are the categories. Take a look again, okay? We're dealing with famous blondes, trivia dare, geology, colors, quotes, top ten, potluck pictures, player pass, and animal songs. This is what the board looked like. The pot is worth $400 with that X and that O. Let's move the categories around and continue, shall we? And, of course, Bartha, we begin with the X-rated player. That doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> I'm, oh, I think I'll go with uh, Trivia Dare. Trivia Dare is going to be her selection, all right? I'll read the question, and then you'll have to decide if you want to answer it first or dare your opponent to answer it, all right? Bartha, in the 17th century, Pope Clement VIII baptized this beverage, overruling priests who consider it an invention of the devil. Was that beverage bourbon, coffee, or champagne? Now, Bartha, do you want to answer it first? If you're incorrect... Your opponent, Bob, will get to answer. Or do you want to dare him to go first? Now, if he's incorrect, then, Bartha, you get the opportunity to answer from the remaining two choices. If he answers it correctly, of course, he gets the box. What do you want to do? I'm going to try it. All right, what's the answer? Rum. No, that is incorrect. Bob, what do you think the answer is? Would you like for me to repeat it for you? Yeah, one time. All right, in the 17th century, Pope Clement VIII baptized this beverage, overruling priests who consider it an invention of the devil. Was that beverage bourbon, coffee, or champagne? I'll say champagne. No, both of you are wrong. It's coffee. <laughs> coffee. I went through that whole thing. It took all of that time. <laughs> oh, my I goodness. I tell you what, let's move the categories around and continue. Bob, it'll be your turn. Right. $400 in the pot. Everybody came up short on okay. that Okay, let's try colors. Colors in the center. That's going to be easier for me, too. Bob, I'll describe two popular movies with colors in the titles, and you name the stars of the movies. Name, no, you name the stars, I beg your pardon. Name the cover girl turned actress who starred in The Blue Lagoon. And then name the actor who wrote, directed, and starred in the picture called Reds. Think about that for a few seconds. <coughs> Bob, name the gov cover girl turned actress who starred in The Blue Lagoon. Brooke Shields? Yes. Name the actor who wrote, directed, and starred in Reds. Warren Beatty. That's it. You have the center box. So we place an O in the box color, $700 pot. We'll be back to our game of Tic-Tac-Toe in just a moment. Easy Wagon comes equipped with luxury features like air conditioning, AM, FM, stereo, tinted glass, and roof rack, plus the confidence of Select Drive. The all service four-wheel drive system furnished by American Motors. Now back to you, Wayne. Okay, Charlie, that's good news. Uh, Bartha, could you use a car? I sure could. <laughs> could she use a car? How about you, Bob? Anytime's a good time for a car. Then let's yeah. get back to the game. We shuffle the category. $700 in the pot. Bob leading Bartha, two O's to one X. Bartha, your turn. 
I'll take Famous Blondes, Wink. Top right corner of the board, and here's your question on the subject of Famous Blondes. This beautiful blonde actress has starred in television series such as Flamingo Road and Paper Dolls. She crossed over to films with a starring role in the 1982 thriller The Seduction. Name her. Morgan Fairchild. You have it. Yes, Morgan Fairchild is the answer. So let's put an X there and continue. On our merry way. Somebody looking for a championship, Bob. Player pass to block. Okay, I'll read a question, and you either answer it or pass it up for the next question. The subject of the questions this time, automobiles automobiles which of the following men founded the city of detroit america's motor city was it pierre chevrolet antoine cadillac or henry ford you want to answer this question or go for the next one which you'll have to answer bob i'll answer this one what's the answer henry ford no antoine cadillac believe it or not yep antoine cadillac founded the city of detroit didn't know that i thought i knew everything let's move the categories around nine hundred dollars kidding nine hundred dollars in the pot kidding about knowing everything. All right, Bartha. <sighs> Looks like I gotta go top 10 for the win. All right. If you answer the question correctly on top 10, you'll have Tic Tac Bill. You'll pick up $1,100 added to your prior winnings. That would give you $3,500. In this category, you both get to play, Bob, Bartha. Whichever of you gives the answer, which ranks higher on the list, will win the box. Bartha, again, you're going for Tic Tac Doe. Bob, you are going for a block. The top 10 category is movies, movies. According to The Hollywood Reporter, which 10 films made the most money at the box office in 1983? According to Hollywood Reporter, which 10 films made the most money at the box office in 1983? Bartha, you took the category. You get to go first. What do you think? Return of the Jedi. You have Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> That took me aback because, of course, you can be beaten. That is the top answer. So you automatically got the box. Bob, you understand that. Return of the Jedi was the number one box office winner in 1983. So, Bartha, you have a horizontal tic-tac. Now, you really pulled that one out. Yeah, I know. You were behind two O's to one X as we started. $1,100 added to your prior winnings. Uh, gives you a grand total to this point as we play the dragon of $3,500. Okay. By the way, Bob and Bartha and everybody, starting from 10 to 1, 10 and going through Return of the Jedi, 10 biggest uh, movie of the year last year, Rick's Risky Business, it's easy for me to say, Mr. Mom, Superman 3, Staying Alive, War Games, 5 was 48 Hours, 4th biggest movie, Trading Places, 3rd biggest Flash Dance, 2nd biggest was Tootsie, and Return of the Jedi. Well, Bob, we do give you some nice prizes uh, with which you leave us, and we thank you for playing our game. I had a good time. Thank you. Bob Stringer, our recording engineer. Back to the control room, Bob. Okay, Bartha, let's play the dragon. Come on over. Congratulations, you did it. Thank you. Pulled it out. Behind the numbers are various amounts of money. We have a tick, we have a tack. Of course, we always have the dragon lurking somewhere. Reach a thousand, he sure did. You're going to try to beat him this time. Right. Get to a thousand dollars, get tick and tack, and you can win these prizes. Listen carefully. Bartha, these four gifts are packed full of pleasure for you. First, Bartha, stow your favorite foods in this spacious freezer. Whirlpool's high efficiency, no frost freezer features, no fingerprint textured steel door, porcelain on steel interior liner, adjustable temperature control, key eject lock, and interior light from Whirlpool Corporation. Then here is a fine chest that comes fully packed with this beautiful set of silverware. For truly elegant dining, this lovely Michael C. Fina Company Silver Plate Flatware. 68 pieces in a deluxe drawer chest from the silver collection Michael C. Fina Company. Next, you'll want to pack as many clothes as you can in this roomy luggage. Crown's fashionable lightweight set of luggage from the Royal Collection, styled in durable nylon. Each piece designed to fulfill your specific traveling needs, furnished by Crown Luggage. And finally, Bartha, you'll get a chance to wear everything from swimwear to formal attire as you enjoy eight fun-packed days of swimming, snorkeling, and casino entertainment in exciting Curacao. <laughs> Largest of the Netherlands and Tillys, Curacao lies just off South America. Combining quaint Dutch architecture with a colorful Caribbean character. Enjoy swimming and diving among coral reefs and sunken ships and visit the famed floating market. While there, you'll have eight days and seven nights at the Las Palmas Hotel and Vacation Villas in sunny Curacao. The friendly Caribbean vacation resort for everyone. Couples, singles, honeymooners, families. This fully packed package is worth in cash and prizes over... $4,250. Look out and hello, Curacao. Move up this way just a little bit. 
Nice boots, too. Thank yeah, you. very pretty. <laughs> okay, we're going to uh, cover everything up, move everything around, and you're going to see nine numbers. The idea is, of course, to get uh, enough money up there or get Tick and Tack without hitting the dragon first. Now, she needs some help because I take it nobody's in no the audience. No one's here. Poor baby is alone, guys. Alone. So give her some ideas regarding numbers. I'll try one. Number one. Top left corner. What do we have? Four Bartha behind one. $300. 700 more. That's all you need. You'll be on your way to Curacao. Five. Number five. To go with $300, how about a $500 bill? Boy, that takes it. Who'd you listen to out there? I saw a lot of fives out there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fives. Were... Let's look at the rest of the board. I feel badly about that because I really wanted you to have that trip, the luggage, the flatware, and the freezer. But you still have what you've won to this point, which is a nice, tidy $3,500. We'll be back in just a moment. She'll take on a new playoff. If it was this easy to build a car, we'd say... Man never forgets the woman who made him feel like a million. Millionaire, cologne and aftershave. By men. Buy bright and early breakfast beverage and get more than great orange taste. Get... More change. Bright and early. Costs about one-third less than orange juice. When fashion accents mean so much, Haynes colors add that special touch. Haynes in dazzling fashion colors. Children prefer Haynes. Also from True Value Hardware Stores, four gallons of super scrubbable True Test Easy Care Latex flat wall and trim finish for both walls and woodwork. Sold only at True Value Hardware Stores in over 5,000 locations nationwide. And now Wink Martindale. Well, Bartha Hartman, our current champion, has a total thus far of $3,500. She didn't have much luck against the dragon. She's going to see how her luck holds out against this contestant search winner. Charlie? And Wink, she's the winner of the Tic-Tac-Toe Baltimore contestant search. She's a nurse whose interests include singing and community theater. Meet Colleen Gilpin. Hello, Colleen. Hello, Wink. Lovely lady. Welcome to our show. Colleen, as Charlie said, the winner of the Tic-Tac-Toe Baltimore Contestant Search, sponsored by WMAR Channel 2. Again, Colleen, welcome to you. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. Tell us more about your work that Charlie described. Well, I'm a nurse and a teacher, and when I am not preaching, I am practicing what I'm preaching is IV therapy. <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? I love the community theater, and I've been involved with some church group activities in theater, and I've just finished singing the lead role in The Sound of Music. I really? was Maria for 52 performances. The hills are alive. With, you know all the lyrics. A lot of lyrics in that show, huh? Yeah. A lot of songs to remember. I used to do some musical theater. I had to give it up uh, because of illness. People got sick of hearing me sing. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for you to laugh. <laughs> Colleen, you have someone in the audience. You have some people in the audience. Oh, yes, I brought three people to cheer me on. You just filled up an airplane and came out here, didn't you? Yes. Would you please introduce your group? I have my mother on the end, Inez. Hi, Inez. And next to her is my darling daughter, Jennifer. You mean that movie starlet? <laughs> she That's is gorgeous. One in the same. Oh. Thank you. And next to her is the also gorgeous sister-in-law, Rita. Hi, Loretta. <laughs> well, welcome to our show. Nice to have all of you here. Welcome, Colleen. Bartha, again, good luck and congratulations. Here we go with the game. We're dealing this time with the subjects, World War II, bonus category, medical facts, scary things, male singers, auction, famous sites, challenge category, and funny ladies. Let's begin, Bartha. I'll take male singers in the center, Wink. Okay, this is a two-parter, always worth $300. I'll describe two male singers who changed their names and became international stars, and you name them. One. This singer was born Arnold Dorsey, but took this more memorable name to record such hits as After the Loving and Release Me. Two, this singer was born Thomas Woodward, but adopted this name to record such hits as It's Not Unusual and Delilah. I'll give you a few seconds to think on that. Two male singers who changed their names and became big international stars. How about the singer who had hits like Release Me and After the Loving? What was his name? He changed it to. Engelbert Humperdinck. That's right. How about the singer, the Welshman, It's Not Unusual and Delilah were among his hits. Tom Jones. Right. You have the center box. They had the same manager for a long time, too. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll put an X there, $300 in the pot. We shuffle, and for the first time, our contestant search winner from... Colleen, help me again. It's it's not Baltimore, it's... Balmer. Balmer, right, Balmer. Balmer. I gotta remember that. They'll be on me, they'll be all over me, and I'll get a lot of mail. Colleen, select. I would like the bonus category, Wink. The bonus category, all right. It's a three-parter. Answer all three parts correctly, and you immediately get another turn. The subject is post office. The post office. In 1963, Colleen, the post office drew up a list of official two-letter abbreviations for all the 50 states. I'll give you three of those abbreviations, and you name the states. One, CT, two, IA, three, MO. So let's begin with number one, CT. What state does that stand for? That would be Connecticut. Yes. What does IA stand for? Iowa. Yes. And MO? Missouri. Right. Very well done. So we put an O there. We put another $200 in the pot. We shuffle the categories. And Colleen, you immediately get another turn. I think I'll try scary things. Top left corner of the board. Here's your question. Colleen, this woman from Greek mythology was beautiful as a young girl, but she made the mistake of bragging about her beauty. The goddess Athena became jealous and transformed her into a hideous monster with snakes for hair. Name that mythological woman. That would be Medusa. Yes, <laughs> Medusa. Scary things, put an O there. Two O's to one X. Let's move the categories around. $700 pot. Bartha, it's your turn again. Uh, have to go with auction for the block, Wink. Okay, in this category, and you're going for a block of Colleen vertically, you both get to bid on how many correct answers you can give. The high bidder gets control. Here's the question. For the three seasons the Starship Enterprise cruised the universe in the series Star Trek, there were eight crew members regularly seen on that show. My question is, how many of those characters can you name? The bidding starts with you, Bartha, and you're going for a block vertically. Am I just naming the characters? Yeah, eight crew members regularly seen on the show during Star Trek. How many of the characters can you name? So give I me a number. Eight. You think you can name all eight, huh? All right. Colleen, you can't top that. So, Bartha, it's up to you to name all eight. If you miss one, why, Colleen, if you come in and name just one, you would have tic-tac-toe, $900, and our contestant search winner would become our champion. Bartha, you have to name all eight characters. On Star Trek, go. Kirk. Kirk is one. Spock. Spock is two. Uhuru. That is three. Chekhov. Chekhov is four. You need four more. Sulu. Sulu is five. You need three more. Scott. Scott is another. Two more. Um, the dog. <laughs> Time's up. Colleen, can you name one more? There are two left. I'm sorry, I'm not a Trekkie. Oh, oh you're not. Oh, I wish I <laughs> then were. Then, Bartha, you're saved there. Oh. Everybody's still very much alive. The last two were Lieutenant Commander Leonard Bones McCoy, oh. and the other one would be Nurse Christine Chapel. Those were the two, Bartha, that you did not name. Everybody's still very much alive. $700 in the pot. We move the categories around as we shuffle. We turn to Colleen. It is your turn. I would like famous saints. Sites for the famous win. Famous saints. For sites. Saint. Saint. Let's take famous sites. Okay. Colleen, if you answer this question correctly, again, you'll have tic-tac-toe and $900. You would be our champion. Take a look at this picture, please. Since the 1700s, this famous rock fortress has been used as a military base by a certain European power. For tic-tac-toe and $900 in the championship, Name the nation that controls this fortress. Spain? No, that's wrong. It's the Rock of Gibraltar, and it is controlled by Great Britain, England, the United Kingdom. Sorry about that. Bartha saved by Great Britain. Still $700 in the pot. Does anybody want to win? We'll be right back. The all-new Chevrolet truck store has arrived at Jerry Chevrolet. Come in, buy now, and get direct from the factory savings on hundreds and hundreds of individual and commercial trucks, all colors and all models. The Chevrolet Truck Store offers direct factory savings with special direct GM factory financing. Factory trained experts are ready to serve your individual needs. The all new Chevrolet Truck Store has arrived at Jerry Chevrolet with direct factory savings. For the best truck deal anywhere, you just gotta come to Jerry's. 
Hi, everybody. Come meet my special Disney friend. We're here. <laughs> Now, only at Hardee's when you buy any sandwich, fries, and Coca-Cola. Get a Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, or Uncle Scrooge stuffed toy for only $1.99. Collect all five. A great gift value for kids of all ages. People are finding lots of new things to do with their old toasters. Yes, they're old toasters, now made obsolete by the GE Toaster Oven. Not only can the GE Toaster Oven make toast, but it can bake and broil almost anything, even faster than a big oven, and it's so easy to clean. So time marches on, and the toaster takes its rightful place in history. The Toaster Oven Broiler, only from GE. Baltimore is working harder than ever. And your hardest working bank is doing more than ever to help. The Savings Bank of Baltimore is now a full-service commercial bank. The Bank of Baltimore. You're working for a better life. Doing what you know is right. Now things are better than before. Hard work pays off at the Bank of Baltimore. Two O's and one X on the board, and our contestant search winner from Baltimore had a very good chance to win there, and blew it, Carly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Welcome to our show. Thank Delighted you. to have you with us. And we'll talk more about Baltimore on the next show. Bartha, congratulations. Thank to you. you. You're still here. Yeah. <laughs> you were here at the beginning, and you're oh, still, here, still here. Hanging on by the hardest. $3,500 so far with our previous win. Bartha, Colleen, we'll see you next time. And we hope to see you, too. I'm Wick Martindale for Tic Tac Go. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our the we will see you. Hawk, free-spirited, riding the wind. Hawk, cologne and aftershave, made for the man who reaches higher. Hawk, by Menon. I invented an automatic total bowl cleaner called 2000 Flushes. It uses chlorine, and 2000 Flushes works up to four months. Why buy anything else? Plus, Black & Decker's Collector, the powerful handheld vacuum with a long cord to pick up where big backs leave off. The Collector, from Black & Decker. Also, clothing by Dobie, the makers of Rainbow Bright and other fine licensed kids' wear. Discover just how bright the rainbow can be with Rainbow Bright Kids' Wear by Dobie. The inaccuracy of some health articles. Hi, I'm Jackie Brockington. Join Sloan Brown and me tomorrow at 5 on New Scope. Tic Tac Toe is a Jack Barry and Dan Enright production.